What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get the book. Now, this video is entitled, Can You Use Her Like She Uses You? Talking about relationships and how they work, right? And part of this male-female dynamic. I'm not trying to separate, but I'm, but I'm trying to bring together, but I got to point this out. Here's the thing. Women look at men as a utility to use for something, to get something out of, you know. And, and I made a video recently, you know, there is no equivalent to chivalry. So I asked this then. Can you use her equally to the way she uses you? And the reason I ask this is because I, this is going to be, this is a problem for some people. What do I mean by that? Simple. She may, can, can you tell her, look, I'm supposed to provide and protect for you, right? That's what you're going to use me for. Can you use her for peace of mind? See, that's a question. Because when I brought up the chivalry thing, I brought up in a broad sense um, what men do in general for women and what women are not doing in general for men. Young lady hit me up in my comment section and she, get, and she gave me a list of characteristics of a lady and I had to hit her back. I was like, I read it. And I was like, but y'all taught the opposite of all these 30 characteristics. You know, and it sucked, but that was the truth. But can you use her? See, a lot of people think this is a sexual thing, but no, it's not. It's not. Watch. Women expect men to look out for them. But can you, so can you use her to look out for you? Is there any obligation there for a woman to say, you know what? I got to look out for that man. Because I want to see men do well. Or that guy reminds me of my father. Or a friend. Or another family member. Cousin. Brother. Uncle. You know. Or friend. You know. Or... Or some guy that they know that they have respect for and they're like, you know what? He deserves some help. Can you, can, can he use you in that way? You know what I'm saying? A lot of women look for guys who they can vent to or who can counsel them at certain times to, as a listening ear. Maybe just a listening ear, maybe for a listening ear. And a solution. Can he use you to be his listening there? Um, or maybe you come up with a solution for him. You see, this is why I got to ask this stuff. Because part of this issue is, um, you hear me, I say it all the time, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Because... When you expect, when you feel like we're obligated to be used. Is where is the obligation for us to use you too? You know. Um, when we think about protection, because that was an argument with the sisters. You know, men don't protect us. You've seen in the last few weeks video of men coming to the aid of women that they don't know. Right? But you know this to be true in your own lives also. So here's, here, so can, uh, can men use you to help, help them in situations where they need a female's touch? 
You get what I'm saying? And, you know, we don't discuss this, but that's a problem. Because when you take sex out of the equation, what are y'all obligated? What, what is the obligation? What is a woman's obligation to men? You know, what, 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 what is... A, Case in point. A man will look out for a woman that he doesn't know. Like I talked earlier about the reverse of that. Because she reminds him of someone. Right? Or she's in need. Okay? And he wouldn't want someone. Because we have a. We have a. A code amongst men where. We have women in our lives. So in some ways, when we see women in distress, we're doing the right thing for the women, but we're also paying it forward for the women in our lives just in case they come across a situation like this woman came across. See, I, I, I never stop being chivalrous to women. I never stop going out of my way for women. You get what I'm saying? But... Where is your code? And what I mean by that is this. Where do... Can we use you women to intercede for us men in situations where we can't really uh, um, get things done in a proper way without a female's touch? You know what I'm saying? Can we go somewhere... Because I remember there was a time where, when I was a child, a woman could say, you know, I got a son. I'm not going to let you do this to this young man. I, I remember people saying, did this to my dad. I'm not going to watch you do this to somebody. Or I'm not going to do this to you. You get what I'm saying? But do you see that now? No. Do you see women stopping things? You know what? And and I and I what I don't need is if, if ladies are listening to to think about guys who are unproductive, criminals or dysfunctional. Well, you know, I help some fuck boys out. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about people you can tell are just in a spot and need some help. Can they use you the same way you expect that you can use men? You know, if this guy has some some issues with paperwork, can uh, are you going to look out for him the same way you expect men to look out for you if you have issues with uh, mechanics? Because what's going to happen is you got a car issue, you... You, I'm gonna go to a mechanic. Well, let me check out your car first. Let me see what's wrong with it. Even if you don't want to listen to what I gotta say, there when you go to a shop, you'll know the problem, how much it costs, how much it costs, how much the part costs, how much the labor costs. So even if you don't want, I don't want your particular help fixing it. I want these people. You at least know the pricing and the situation and what it's going to affect. Whether you, at least you'll be told. You get what I'm saying? Case in point. Women, men who date single mothers or meet, meet single mothers. Sometimes have to help or advise them in the situations that they may have with a baby daddy. Right? Or uh, men will talk to other men who are a kid's father and be like, look, man, I know y'all going through it, but there's a certain way you got to conduct yourself for the kid's sake. See, and we, do, we police out each other like that, and we might police, uh, or, or police another man 
through another woman because of that. We pull brothers to the side, have these conversations. But can we use y'all the way y'all use us? Do y'all can y'all do y'all intercede with all this baby mama drama? Do you? Do y'all pull the other women aside and say, hey, do you? You get what I'm saying? This is the questions that, that have to be answered. Can you use her like she uses you? Like you want to call a brother like me to help you move. But if I have a niece come over, I should be able to call you over to come do her hair. Right? If you uh, want to call... Because, you know, if you want me to take you out to dinner and show you a good time, I should be able to call you if I'm hungry and it's been a long day to fix me dinner. See, can I use you the same way? You get what I'm saying? If you if you call me and say, hey, man, could you find me a gig and let me get... And I, can, and I find you a place of employment... Or put in a word for you. If you see another brother who asks you the same thing, and you go, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help my, I'm gonna empower other women." If you look a guy over who asks you to empower another woman, something's wrong with that. I'm not saying you shouldn't help another woman, but if a guy at you first, first come, first serve, right? You know. Um, what's the problem with this? And you know, I think the ultimate problem is there is no when guys bring up, well, you know, you got to bring something to the table. You have to be able to be used just like we have to be able to be used. And I think one of the problems is using men is normal, but when you're supposed to, but when it's time to use a woman, it's all of a sudden abuse or misuse. That's a problem because what it says to us is, I can't use you in a way that you can use me. And furthermore, before I end this video, the reason I have to act, I have to put these scenarios out is because when men help women or do things for women there's a part of it that's because you ask and there's a part of it uh, out of our own choice to do it for you and here's the issue when you when you look at when you take that and you apply it to women when you ask women to do things, they won't do it for you. And if they have to make a choice to do something for you, the choices they want. So you want you you want you can't have solid relationships when you your expectation is entitlement, but you give nothing or little to nothing. That's a problem. So we out, y'all. Peace.